Hey guys, Corey Laguerre, Mount Comfort RV, coming at you with another video today. Um, I want to talk to you guys about something that is very hot in the Indiana marketplace. Um, and it's a high, very, very high end fifth wheel. Um, but for those of you that love Cedar Creek and all the people that follow Cedar Creek, um, but don't want that big hefty Cedar Creek price tag, well, they've done a lot with the 2015 Silverback. This Silverback, as you can tell, the 13 mod, the 2013 models, so forth, used to have a silver color, um, and they used to separate them a lot more price difference. You didn't get as many features as what this has got. This thing is loaded. Okay, guys, uh, follow me. We'll go through this. What you have right here on this, two, this is a 2015 Silverback 31 RK. It's a rear kitchen floor plan, but it is Cedar Creek's one of their hottest selling floor plans. Um, it's unbelievable. Um, but one thing we'll start with, as you can tell, you got a front fiberglass cap. Also, you can also tell with the color that it, as this goes down the road, you, it's hard to tell if this is a Silverback or a Cedar Creek. They have really brought this up. I mean, they are doing great things with this. Um, but what you can see right here is you got your front fiberglass cap, LED light strip right here for at night. Um, when this is sitting behind your truck, it looks very, very aggressive. It's got a good look to it. Um, the storage down here, one of the things I wanted to show you um, is you got separated storage. Now it's got a spare tire right here, but if there's anything sewage hoses to any coolers, anything you don't want to get with your other clothes or other storage you got, you don't want to get dirty, this is all separated, okay? So we'll shut this. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll make our way around this way. And right now we're underneath this nice big awning, okay? So you got a perfect little awning for you guys to set up shop, put your lawn chairs out here, do your outside cooking, um, what have you. But one thing about the awning is you can notice with the fabric, that's a high-end awning fabric, okay? Not only that, but this awning has an aluminum wrap around it. And I call that a weather protector. When this thing goes back up inside, or when the awning goes back up, this aluminum wrap will wrap around it, and that protects your fabric from weather. Um, weather is the number one enemy to these things, guys. Okay, coming back this way, we got one pair of outside speakers, okay? That's nice so you can listen to your music outside, but we could take it one step further. If you wanted to mount an outside TV, you can plug it in right here, plug it into your GFI outlet, and you can put it with the outside speaker so you can watch the race, you can tailgate, you could do anything like that. Um, now, I talked about the front storage. Look at this right here. This is nice big open storage. Um, you can also see on the back, you got a, a, a reel for your uh, power cord. This is a 50 amp power cord, so you got a reel for your 50 amp power cord. Um, and also back behind this, you could take this screw out. This will slide open. Um, this is how you're gonna access your Dirt Devil vacuuming system. Now, this does have slam latch doors, okay? So these are the motorhome style baggage doors, but you shut this. Shuts right, very, very easy. Um, now, one thing I gotta talk to you guys about before we go around this, I have to talk about the construction, okay? We took on Cedar Creek to replace Newmar Fifth Wheels. Newmar Fifth Wheels stopped building, they stopped building Fifth Wheels back in 2012. We needed something for that, that buyer, that buyer that appreciates construction, okay? This is not a laminated sidewall. This is not a vacuum bonded, pinch rolled sidewall. This is built very similar to our Newmars. This is a 16 inch on center aluminum stud construction. This is a hung wall, okay? For those of you guys that understand that, this is built like a customized house versus a prefab house. Every time you drive this up and down the road on 70 or any time you're driving this up, this takes a lot of stress. You're basically putting your house through an earthquake, a tornado, and a hurricane all at the same time. So something like this, I mean, it's facts. Hung wall coaches, I mean, if you take care of them, they're gonna, the longevity of them is gonna last a lot longer. The beauty about this is you don't ever have to worry about delamination. There is no such thing as delamination because the strength of this coach comes from studs versus the strength of the other coaches coming from glue, what have you. Um, now, take it one step further. Some, like with Newmar, um, they have a hung wall construction, um, but they actually weld the frame. And to some arguments, welding the frame can make it brittle, it can make it weak. Well, they do not weld their aluminum frame. One thing, I mean, they screw it, they screw it together. So you do not have to worry about somebody overheating with the weld and making the, the aluminum very brittle. This is built like a tank. This is one of the best built coaches in the industry, bar none, okay? 
One thing new from 2013 models, like I talked about, where they had a lot of separation from the Silverback to the Cedar Creek. Um, one of the new things is, is now there's not a lot of difference. This has got your six point level up system. You go over to the other side and I can show you here in a second, you push auto level and this bad boy will level up itself, okay? And as you can tell, it does have the big old elephant pads. All right guys, walk this way and I'll talk a little bit more. Another thing that is very, very sleek, very, very sexy is the frameless windows. Now these are hair, frameless windows. Hair is the manufacturer and hair is the one out of the two manufacturers of doing frameless windows hair has been one of the only ones that hasn't had all the problems like the other the other uh, frameless windows have had they've had a lot of problems with them cracking um, and uh, not sealing properly well we have had no warranty problems with these hairs these are a great window they cost a lot more but you get what you pay for this is a jealousy style window they are tinted um, the way this window opens up it'll open up like this uh, it'll slant open like this and you can keep it open while rain if it's raining outside rain is not going to get inside follow me back around to the other side now you do have your correct track uh, I'll just point this out you do have your Dexter adjust or your uh, Dexter axles you're never adjust it does have the correct alignment on it um, so one thing you can do is after you load it you put all your cargo in it you can actually line this up very you can actually uh, 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 line align this up very very easily um, and I can talk more with you about that later um, coming this way you have your aluminum bumper okay with the diamond plate you also have a nice little receiver right here that's designed for a bike rack. You can put a bike rack back here, spare tire, what, what have you. But this is something that's got a, it's got a weight limit on it, about 300 pounds. So it's, it's, it's a perfect bike rack. Um, but also, I talked about your sewage hose storage. You have the ability to open this up and you can put a sewage hose in there. That's actually really good storage for your sewage hose. Keeps everything separated. We'll walk around this way. You can see the slide out. Now this is the only slide out that's a normal style slide. Your other slides that you have are what you call cathedral slides, and I'll show you those in a second. The thing about the cathedral slides is, is you don't need a slide out top or up top above it. Everything runs right off it, so it eliminates that cost. The only one that would, uh, you don't have to have it, but the only one that would need it would be this slide out right here because it's all flat. Here, I'll show you, I'll show you a cathedral slide. Right up here is your cathedral slide setup. You can see how it angles and drops down. Um, right here is, we got our black accents. Right here is your th uh, 50 amp power cord. But right here is your water workstation, okay? Now this does have a battery disconnect, which is nice. Not a lot of things at this price point has it. What's nice about this is if you're not using it for three or four days or a week, you can just flip this switch and that way you don't come out to camp and your battery's dead. It's an all kill switch. You also have your cable, bedrooms, living room, satellite prep. And also one of my favorite features besides you have an outside shower, auxiliary shower, one of my favorite features is the dump stations. Your gray tank, your gray bath tank, and your black tank can all be dumped from right here. So you can pull the lever from right here instead of having to bend down, get up underneath the slide, um, and try to pull these levers. That's a nice, nice setup. Very, very handy. And it don't, take, it don't take away from a lot of storage. You have a lot of storage on this coach for this only being a, a 31RK, okay? Okay guys, Corey Laguerre inside the 2015 31RK uh, Cedar Creek Silverback. Um, before we go through and show you the inside, one thing I wanna say is we are located right off Highway 70. We were standing outside, you could hear the cars going by. Coming back to insulation, this is a very, very well insulated coach. One of the best in the industry. Um, you have a two inch thick sidewall um, but we are right next to 70. I just want to ask you customers or all you people viewing, what do you hear? I mean, that says a lot. Insulation is excellent. You don't hear the semis going by. You don't hear the cars. Um, this is something that I don't consider really anything a Four Seasons coach because my house will freeze if it's cold enough. I mean, when it's cold, I'm inside opening the cabinets. I got the water dripping, all this. So I'm sure if my house will freeze, an RV would have a tough time for all four seasons. A lot of people say four seasons this, four seasons that. Well, this is something that I truly believe is a four seasons coach just by the way the insulation is. Um, but coming back this way, we have a high rise faucet, okay? This is a rear kitchen floor plan so you can tell how much it maximizes your countertop space. Now these are uh, hard surface countertops. These are LG Life's Good countertops. So it's a high-end countertop. You have a very, very thick recessed 
sink right here to give you extra countertop space, cutting boards, what have you. Then you have a 60-40 residential uh, fiberglass sink, okay? So I'll put this down. Coming this way, you got your stainless steel appliances. You do got your good residential size Whirlpool microwave. Okay, I'll open that up. And then you got a stainless steel oven and a three burner stove, okay? Also, another thing that's new for the 2015, 2014 models is I love this backsplash. It's not wallpaper. It's actually a, you know, a nice, real backsplash, tough, durable backsplash, but I love the colors. Now, another thing, this is not a wrapped veneer. This is not fake cabinetry. This is all wood on wood with a raised bevel. It's not a flat panel. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, now, I'm going to have my cameraman, Tony, who does a wonderful job. Back to the cathedral slides. I showed you one from the outside. Look at one from the inside. You can see how a normal slide, the fascia would come all the way across right here, okay? So not only do you gain this much in, in depth perception, a little bit of space, and I know it might not seem a lot, but in RVs, an inch is huge, a foot is huge. Um, when they can only be so long, so wide, so many slide outs, all the extra space helps out tremendously. But you can see how aggressive that cathedral style slide is. Now, look over on this side and you can see what I'm talking about. This is the only one that's flat, okay? Well, we got more countertop on this side and that's LG hard surface countertops. We got a lot of storage, a lot of drawers. We got all pull out pantries, all on 50 pound roller ball bearing drawer glides, all wood, real wood, beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. Um, I'm telling you right now, these, these things are unbelievable. Okay, we'll come this way. Not only do you see all the windows, but this is a pull-out bed, okay? This is a pull-out queen. This is a coach that you could easily sleep four people in here, four adults in here comfortably. Now, one thing I wanted to show you with the couch to the recliners, these are RV style recliners. They are very, very plush, very, very comfortable, but they're lazy boys. And they will rock, they'll recline, they'll go back a lot farther. They're all freestanding. Um, you can move them, arrange them however you want to. Um, and even no wasted space. That's something Cedar Creek is absolutely excellent with. No wasted space. Notice how you even have storage underneath your freestanding dinettes. And this table right here even has a leaf that'll pull out. This will pull out to make a leaf to make a bigger table. Looking at the entertainment system, you have a CD player, DVD player, all-in-one entertainment, LED lights throughout the whole coach, and you, the advantage to that, guys, is, is it's not going to pull as much off the battery as what a, a, nor the normal lights would, but most importantly, um, it's not hot. It doesn't burn you. So if you was to ever touch it, it's not going to hurt you. Um, and one more thing before we go upstairs, this does have your surround sound. You can see the recessed speakers right up there. You got one two, the third one's right there, and you got a fourth one right there. So you do got your uh, uh, surround sound. So when you're watching a movie, relaxing with the wife, relaxing with the girlfriend or the family, um, and you guys are here in this big, huge, opposing super slide living room or living space, um, everything, the sound's coming all around you. It's, it's an awesome time. Let me show you the bathroom. For the ladies, you will love the bathroom. Huge tub, huge skylight. This is a you know nice big tub surround with your three-piece glass. Now this is the way it travels. This is the way you would have it travel and you'd have it hooked that way. But you got a three-piece stage of glass shower. Nice setup, nice skylight. I'm 5'11", 6 foot, depending on which gas station I'm walking out of. Um, but you could tell, I know some of the, there's a lot taller guys than I am, but you can also tell you, I mean, for a 5'11", 6 foot guy, you have plenty of head space, plenty of side space. Porcelain toilet. This is a porcelain toilet, residential toilet with your foot flush. Also, we got a cabinetry, a medicine cabinet right here for extras. We also have another little ca cabinet right here with our mirror and then also our nice little sink. And this is going to have like a little hard surfaced LG countertop sink. We have our nice big king size Serta mattress. So this is an upgraded mattress. This is a king size bed. You got your other cathedral slide up here. Gives you a little bit more room. Um, picture this. If it was a normal slide, it would come across straight right here. So you're gaining this much. And I know that might not seem a lot, but once you get in it and see it, you can see how open this is. This is only a 31 RK. Guys, Corey Laguerre, anything, any questions I could do for you, anything any of you guys need to know, call me. I'll get any answers for you guys need. Um, and uh, hope to talk to you soon, guys.
Always looking forward to doing the videos. Got another one coming for you here soon. Um, and over and out, guys. Thank you guys so much.